What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. You ain't going to want to miss not one second of madness your homie Grand Tizzle got in store for you. Now, today I'm going to show you how to make this expert quality premium party design flyer. And if you stick around long enough, I'm going to teach you how to do it in less than 15 minutes. Let's get it popping. All right, fam, we're going to start this session off with um, getting a few assets and dropping the assets inside of uh, Photoshop. So I'm gonna grab a few bottles of uh, Grey Goose and um, we're gonna get like a white background there. And we're not gonna put a whole lot um, to this. I'm show you how we can get some things done with uh, minimal effort, a very, very small amount of time and um, you can turn around some projects with the quickness now if you want to know more of course you already know what you got to do you know you got to sign up or um, go pick up the premium pack from um todaysbeast.com slash white party uh but until then uh i'll make sure that i have a few of these available to you so that you guys can go ahead and get busy all right um so i'm going to pick out a vixen here and um let's see we want to pick somebody we want to pick like a neutral um I'm, I'm really trying to i don't want to do like no you know vixen vixen you know what i mean you know somebody a little bit more uh, uh neutral like her that's perfect yeah let's get her yeah sweet all right let's drag her into the project file perfect cool 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 and uh, let's go ahead and drop some balloons over there we can go and close those out. Let's go ahead and drop the gray goose up in there. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, let's go and drop the bed headboard in there. <laughs> I don't know why we want to put a headboard in the club, but you know it is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who got that good D? Right. All right. Sorry, sorry if I'm, you know, be, being too silly. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of just like to have fun um, training y'all. But, you know, don't beat me up about it. All right. Okay, so uh, we're going to get right to it, fam. Um, what we're going to be thinking about today is um, just kind of, uh, what's the word I want to use? Um, framing. Today, we're going to kind of concentrate on framing. So um, we're just going to just get just a few elements so I can teach you how to really get some really good um, flyer design looks with a very, very uh, little effort. So let's take her, and what I'm gonna do with her is, um, I'm gonna get the eraser tool, and I'm gonna kinda just fade the bottom a little bit, take off the edges, all right, that's perfect. And um, let's bring up our balloons here, or actually here, let's, let's, let's put our wing into place, let's shrink the wing down, so you can see a little bit of the tips, yes, of course, you know, she's an angel, you know, angels in the club, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the angel wings a little transparent, you know, make it that's a little different. I'll make it a little transparent. Why? Because we want to see the bed post. That's right. And um, you know, the, the wings just represent, uh, you know, um, you know that uh, uh, that there's feathers in the bed post. Yeah. How about that? Uh, let's blow this up a little bit more. That's cool. And something we need to do to this, um, because this is going to be like a black and white thing, we're going to need to desaturate this to take away a lot of the color. So let's just desaturate that so now we really truly have a raw black and white. Because we're going to tint it with some other things. Um, let's do something else. Let's, here, let's remove the rest of these real quick. We're going to paint the background white, right? Since this is a black and white thing. Actually, here. We're gonna paint it gray. Let's paint it gray. All right. Come on. Okay. And then we're gonna make a silhouette, right? Or a, 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 a mirage, or I forget the word you call it, but it's a word for this. Vignette. That's the word. It's called a vignette. We're gonna make a vignette, a background vignette of gray. It always make your images look very expensive. It just do. 
uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a white selection and then we're gonna deselect it right after we paint inside of it and then we're gonna go to filter and blur and then we're gonna blur this boy right now I learned this tip from um what's that boy uh, Andrew Kramer from video Andrew Kramer from videocopilot.net and he taught me everything I need to know about uh, After Effects so we're gonna soften it right and then what we're gonna do here is that's not enough because I really want the edges gone so let's double it up double it up a little more I think that's I might be alright maybe one more time okay that's cool and then we'll probably bring the opacity down on that all right that's good it's looking good we bring her back on the scene now just that look alone look very high profile uh fashion imagery it's, it's like a high profile look don't ask me why it just look good it always has looked good and it will always forever continue to look good all right and now let's bring our our head bed back headboard back in the game and let's go ahead and um, blow this up and brush the bottom I mean, let's do that. And um, brush the bottom. Ah, and brush the top. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Right? That is uh, my rub beautiful. Now let's go ahead and add these other little elements. And we ain't going to really put a lot of emphasis on it, right? Oh, sorry about that. Here, I'm moving the wrong thing. Here. We got our Grey Goose bottles. We're going to pull them boys in there. And uh, let's shrink these down. Now we're going to make some uh, symmetry. Symmetry balance, right? Now, if you watch the premium tutorials, I get into deep, deep detail about uh, the looks and why certain symmetrical uh, angles and framing, why certain things look good. I don't have time to go through that right now. Uh, but if you want to know more, of course, you know, you know, you can go to todaysbeast.com slash white party. And um, that's where you can, you know, pick up the flyers. But right now, um, you know, I'm. I'm more into right now just kind of just training you teaching you this but again if you want to learn more you know you know what you gotta do all right so with that we got the we got the little wings we got the little girl you know what i'm saying uh we six minutes in that's sweet let's go ahead and add some balloons up in the place to be so let's take the balloons to the top let's shrink them down right and um let's here let me Let's go over here and get our like remove tool, our quick wand, and hit it. And uh, make sure it's wrapped around everything. Hit delete, and we got the we got our little balloons nice and pulled. So I'm gonna deselect these selections, and um, we're gonna shrink this down to size. And uh, we're gonna put this somewhere behind it. Now let me shrink it, kind of give it a little stretch look, because it's a little too fat, right? Now we're gonna set these offset we're gonna offset these off to like the left and the right right so we got the bottle here we want this offset a little bit maybe up there and let's put that behind her that's beautiful and then let's make another one right and then um, let's pull this down around here and uh, we we'll dip that right there yes that's looking uh, pretty good and um, that that's looking pretty nice now we're going to go ahead and um do let me see let me think uh let's add a little a few what i'm gonna do is add a couple um uh, brushes on here like some particles i'm gonna try to do some particles just so we can add a little bit of noise back uh behind her i could probably put some rain up in there but the we're going to use some of this uh, disintegration stuff here. All right. Yeah. Some of that. Yeah. I like that. But that's too big. You feel me? So we're going to back it up. And we're going to kind of just shrink it down a little bit. Yeah. Just a little teeny noise. Right? Just a little, you know, disintegration noise. If that's what they want to call it. And uh, we're going to erase a little bit. And we're going to have too much going on there. All right. But just a little something so it can indicate that we had a party. All right, and that's looking really good. Now let's go ahead and decorate that with a little bit of shine. So we're gonna go ahead over to our brush here, and we're gonna get, we're gonna go to our blues. So let's start off with um, our dark blue here, and let's make this layer a linear dodge layer, 
and let me get a fade uh, brush. So we're gonna get something like that and uh, shrink it down and kind of just start, you know, hitting some little spots. You know how we do, you know, make it beautiful, boom. See now suddenly her dress is actually looking, ooh, that was too much, notice that? Now suddenly her dress is looking kind of blue. Got this little metallic blue thing going on, right? I'll make that a little darker so we can actually see some color up there. Okay, that wasn't dark enough, but that's good enough. All right, and um, that's looking pretty good. Maybe we could put another one here. Um, big there, you know, another little one right there. And, um, and then we're going to bring it up a little bit. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, bring the color up a little bit more. And then let's go get some stars, y'all. So I'm looking on the side. I'm, if you notice, my vocals went away. Uh, let's get some stars here. And uh, let's shrink it down because you can't see it. I use the left bracket and the right bracket to do my shrinking and growing. And uh, let's let's bless this with some stars, some spark cows. You figure deal me. All right, and that's looking good. Blink, blink, bow, check it out. That's sweet. And uh, last but not least, we're going to bring it even ever so brighter, and we're going to put like some um, glare or glints up in the place. So let's go ahead and shrink this down because I know whenever you pull up a, a, a brush and you don't see it, nine and a half out of ten is, is probably, you know, need to be pulled down. All right, that's cool. I always like to put little lights in between spaces. I always make stuff pop. You know what I mean? All right, that's good. We need to erase a little bit of that out of her face, you know. She's beautiful, so let it shine. And uh, that is actually... Uh, that's it for the image. Now, what we're gonna do, watch this. I got a placeholder, right? Now, you always wanna do this. Now, this way you can do you a flyer, a well-produced flyer, in like less than 15 minutes because you, you got everything already laid in place. Okay, evidently I didn't pull the whole photo over. But anyway, here, look. I got this, I got the uh, template already made. It's like a placeholder, right? I'm gonna select the folder. Oops, sorry about that. Select the folder drag the entire folder over and now we have our placeholder wait man man what you doing there we have it there we go that's all so wrong man but uh you get the you get the point you get the picture man so we're gonna wrap it here man and the, the point of this is to show you that look man we can actually make a really well produced actually here we can pull that back into shape yeah see bam we running things. All right, now take a look at that. 15 minutes, we slapped it together, you know what I'm saying? And of course, you can spend more time on it and um, really come up with some really good work, but I just wanted to show you how valuable it is to have certain skill levels when you can put together these flyers, especially if you come to the site to learn how to make flyers and you can be able to put it together in six, seven, eight minutes. You can be clocking out five, 10 flyers a day, even if you charge $30 a flyer. Look how much money you're making. Really good money, man. So um, I hope you guys learned something today. Don't worry, I got more to come, man. I, I got a plethora of sessions coming. And just in case, if this was not detailed enough for you and you really wanted to really dive and dig deep in to these sessions, make sure y'all go over to todaysbeats.com slash white party and you can pick up the detailed version of these tutorials. All right, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.